I welcome Leonda and Leontine uh, on this platform. Um, I think uh, the most important topic we have discussed today is digitalization and uh, sustainability again. What are your takes on that? Because I start from her. If you say, like, what do you think about digitalization, if you can speak about that? Digitalization has many benefits. Um, for example, you save costs making samples. Um, it gives you, of course, a more clear uh, idea on how the eventual garment will look like. And uh, this, uh, without making these uh, samples, you save also a lot of footprint. For example, if you are really the big company, yeah, you need to make, in the end, about, let's say, hundreds or five hundreds of examples and of one garment yeah, and then you save a lot that's one of the benefits that's really yeah. great and what do you think uh, Linda yeah well I, I echo what Leontine is just saying and at the same time I'd like to approach it also from a different perspective where if, if you combine digital and, and sustainability I think sustainability is something that is here to stay and Basically, for companies to succeed in the future, you need to become more sustainable. And then talking about achieving a more sustainable future, I think you need tech and data. And that's where, for instance, also my company comes in as Text Tracer with basically supplying brands and retailers with supply chain data, independently verified by manufacturers, uh, tier one all the way back to tier four and um, creating um, relevant supply chain information based on which brands and retailers can make educated decisions for the future. Yeah. And that's where I think, you know, to really achieve that more sustainable future, you can use tech and digitization yeah. both. Um, <coughs> and, and adding to that, of course, 3D aspect or more the kind of yeah. uh, digitalization that you're talking about. Well, basically combining that is very relevant and important for the future. I think um, uh, exactly uh, on the spot, uh, because this is really need of the time. But the amount of HR hours and uh, training required, because it's, uh, you, know, you have a software and then you have a manpower who has to look after data entry and you know the transparency through True. data and whatever the procedures it should be certified so you see that is quite a complex thing for the third world country manufacturers like pakistan india and bangladesh how you see that is easy to manage and uh, despite the management there's a extra cost which you need to cover it through the product yeah. so is uh, a really complex situation right now to make it understand to our uh, vendors or manufacturers in Pakistan and India and Bangladesh. So how you see the cost will have uh, impact on the total product or on a total life cycle of the product? Well, this is a very important subject that uh, at Text Tracer we try to focus on on a, on a daily basis, really day to day. We're like focused, how can we not just onboard new clients, because it's in a way pretty easy, but how can we make sure that we get the manufacturers to work along with us. And the way we think we can do this is by trying to make it as less complicated as possible for them. And that is, um, that is by trying to ask smart questions. And instead of asking 100 questions, uh, asking smart questions, but just 20 to avoid manufacturers to have, having to use a lot of time to get the information that is required. Um, and then potentially step by step will yeah and, and step yeah. by step we will add more questions but do it in a smart way so that you do not have to up your increase your price because of course nobody is going to um, be helped by doing that yeah that's uh, really but, important but, it's, but it, of course it is the biggest challenge for us as a company uh, to try and uh, connect with manufacturers and to make sure that they um, they work along with us, uh, but that's why we would also love to get in touch with more manufacturers in uh, Pakistan to find out um, what their actual situation is so that we can also avoid that we create a technology which is probably great in theory but not doing anything in practice. 
Um, uh, well, I have 20 years of experience in, of course, I'm, I'm European, but I did spend uh, several in the Far East um, um, working with manufacturers. And there I did see, like, I don't want to be the kind of that is going to just add more work to the suppliers and because there is always pushback yeah. in a way we, we do need your help and yes we are asking details but we're trying to get details firsthand without making it too complicated and we hope that that is going to help to get the information that everybody will need um, without making it too difficult for manufacturers yeah that's really important because you know the vendors who are already supplying to big brands like Zara and H&M they're already fully accredited and uh, they are certified they know they are well aware of the situation and they have already prepared for that for SMEs, SMEs it's really hard you know to keep all these extra budget on uh, transparency and data collection and to engage digitalization and everything on that. It's an entirely a new set for that uh, because uh, whatever you, they've been practicing is uh, entirely then they are now uh, set for a new direction and they are still not sure about it. Like it's going to be successful or is it a disaster? Yeah, yeah. but, but I, yeah. Can, uh, I can mention one thing um, and I, I think you know the example because we, set, we have setting up the design center in Lahore we had this uh, head of design there, he learned himself, Glow 3D, and uh, he started working with it. So learning this software, which is different uh, from, from what uh, Yolanda is doing, is not such a big thing, because what I think, it will be maybe easier to learn this in a production country, because here in Europe, most designers, they, they they are, of course, they are familiar with production, but not in detail. So when you need to make a garment, you need to prototype. And once you need to, this, to put this data in your cloud 3 d uh, software, you need to m m uh, know much more about the technical part of the garment. And that knowledge is still available also in Pakistan. Yeah. So I think um, from that part, let's say, uh, working with these 3D and also maybe animations can be a solution where we also can work with in Europe and maybe even hire the people from Pakistan. Yeah, to that's make that really, happen. yeah, that's really But that's really a different important. approach. But, but there's a lot of technical training and yeah. education is required in that process. So once again, I thank you for being here. And uh, uh, it's really a uh, nice evening today because we had a lot of exchange of uh, digitalization information and a lot of supply chain information through the different panel discussions. And I'm really excited about it for further for tomorrow's activity and uh, tonight's uh, event. So thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, welcome.